Welcome to the collage animal portrait inspired by the artwork of Peter Clark. First get a picture of an animal you would like to create the collage of. Find magazine cutouts and scrapbooking papers or anything of the sort that resemble the colors and value scale range in your animal. Then you'll want to get different colored pencil crayons and begin to outline the different contour shapes. Starting from the back going to the face around on the snout, the ears, the inside of the ears. Use different colors for each one to help you keep it organized. Once you're done, you'll begin to cut out all the different shapes that you see. Use the second copy as a way to keep all your pieces organized, almost like pieces of a puzzle on top of your pictures. So get your second copy and cut out the ears and the head and just lay it on top so you know exactly where everything needs to go. Once all the pieces are cut out, I can begin to find papers that match. So starting from the back, I'm going to get the body. Notice that there's a little bit of a darker area on the right side then to the left it goes lighter. So I'm going to try and match that in the magazine paper that I found. Once I've cut out that piece, I can begin the process of layering it onto my backing paper. So I'm going to start again from the back and move forward. Next piece comes ahead. And again, you can either trace it or just lay the pieces of paper on top of one another, holding them in your hand and cut out. Whatever is more comfortable for you is the best approach. Here I'm getting the dark patch that is on the left side of the picture of the dog and I can start to get the rounded snout area. I've just found a piece of paper that already had some little black spots and speckles in it that resemble the picture. I'll cut out the lower lip and put, tuck it underneath. Now I've cut out the dark area around its lips and I'm going to cut out the dark spot for its nose. And I'm noticing that you can barely see the difference between the two. They don't stand out against each other. So I'm going to recut out the, the gray tone and just make sure that I'm able to visibly see where the nose is. That's better. I can then begin on the ears. I'm going to keep on building up and I actually really liked that landscape scene so I'm going to try that out instead and see if it works better and I, and I actually do like it so I'm going to replace that and just keep on trying out different papers until I get the one that I like. So now I'm going to get the ears in and, and again I can try cutting out the inside of the ear. I can see if I prefer the landscape or some pink gingham paper and I'll cut out both and see which I prefer. Once I've decided I can also uh, cut out little edgings, little bits along the side to mimic the fur details that is in the picture of the real dog. Now for the eye, I'm going to get the shapes in the eye. So there's oval for the eyeball and then there's going to be a circular shape for the colored iris part and I'm going to get a dark black pupil and finally a very small tiny white dot for the highlight area. So as I'm doing this I can also use my scissors as a way to kind of hold down all those little pieces or I can also use tweezers. They come in very handy for these tiny small little pieces. I can continue adding details by creating some little crescent shapes for the tops of the lids. Thank you. 
Once I have all the main shapes, then what I can do is still use that template of laying down the pieces um, so that they stay organized and begin from the back and move my way up and begin to glue everything down. I'm going to just use a glue stick and make sure I get all along on the edges, place them down on the paper and just smooth them out so that everything um, is nice and flat. I can continue to add little details by even just trimming and cutting little edges into things to resemble fur. Once the main form is done, you can start to get into even smaller little details. I'll measure the height of something right on the piece and just trim wherever I need to, need to, to make it fit properly. Once you begin to finalize your piece, you could decide what type of background you would like. You can either keep it the plain or cut it out and put it on top of a watercolor or additional collage piece. Enjoy creating your animal portrait.